Okay, we're going to be factoring what we call special cases, the sum or difference of two cubes. And that's where you have the first term, a, which is cubed, plus b, the b term, which is cubed, or a cubed subtract b cubed. This is a special relationship that you're just going to have to remember because there's not an easy way to derive it backwards. So when you're taking the sum of two cubes, this is how it factors. It factors into a binomial times a trinomial. The a term plus the b term, notice there's no squares or cubes there, a plus b, times the a term squared, then you're going to subtract, when it's the sum of two cubes, in the trinomial, you're going to subtract the second set of things, which is a times b, and then add the b squared. When it's the difference of two cubes, the first, the binomial, will be a subtract b, then the trinomial will be a squared plus a times b plus b squared. But that's, that's the theory, so now let's look at an exact, exact example. All right, well, if by this time in your math career, if, if you're pretty familiar that 27 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3, well then, you would simply write 27 as 3 cubed. So 3 is the A term. And 125M cubed is the same thing as 5M times 5M times 5m because 5 oops because 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125 and m to the first times m to the first times m to the fir m to the first remember when you're multiplying powers of the same base you add the exponent so 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 okay so then our b term is 5m cubed so now we have our a and our b and remember, when it's the sum of two cubes, it's a plus b, so the a is 3, and the b is 5m. And then in the trinomial, it's a squared subtract a times b plus b squared. So the a is 3, so we square the 3, we subtract... 3 times 5m, the a times b, and then we add the entire b squared. You don't just square the, the m, you square the whole thing. So to simplify, there's nothing else we can do with 3 plus 5m, so we rewrite it. Well, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, subtract, 3 times 5m is 15, 15m, and 5m squared, well, 5 times 5 is 25. m times m is m squared. And you're done. That's factoring the sum of two cubes. Now, if we take two cubes and now we find the difference, well, again, 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed. Subtract 125m cubed is the same thing as saying 5m, that whole thing cubed. 3 is our a, 5m is our b. When we're finding the difference of two cubes, it's a subtract b, and then a squared, so 3 squared, plus a times b, plus b squared. So 3 subtract 5m because we can't do anything else. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 times 5m is 15m. 5m squared is 25m squared. And now you have simplified, found the sum of two cubes and the difference of two cubes. And the best way to to drive that is just simply to try to remember that relationship. Remember the relationship is when you have the sum or difference of two cubes, 
you figure out what the a or the b the a and the b are then it's a plus b then a squared subtract a times b plus b squared or a squared plus a times b plus b squared and that's it you're done